What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are showcasing a Life Orb Miraidon and Electric Seed Halucha team for Ranked Regulation G. Now, when it comes to Miraidon, everybody knows this Pokemon's hitting like a truck, especially in that electric terrain. Now, the combo with Miraidon, we are rocking out with Electric Seeds on Halucha and Unburdened Ability to give that defense boost when it's in that terrain, and on top of that, a speed boost when it doesn't have an item. So, this pairs up perfectly with Halucha, making it outspeed and do big time damage at the same time. Well, let's talk about Miraidon here for our first Pokemon in today's team preview. It's got the Hadron Engine, like we already mentioned that Light Orb for that 1.3 times multiplier. Furthermore, it's got the Fairy Terror type with Dazzling Gleam, and it's got two other heavy hitting stat moves with Draco Meteor and Electro Drift. Next Pokemon I want to talk about is going to be Halucha. Like I said, you got the Electric Siege, you got the Unburdened Ability to pair up together. Furthermore, you got Swords Dance. You can set up Swords Dance with Halucha. This thing is doing a ridiculous amount of damage. On top of that, it's got Acrobatics, which is double damage when you do not have an item. On top of that, it is Stab. Last move we got is going to be Close Combat. This Pokemon is the real deal next to Miraidon, so I'm super excited to be showcasing this Pokemon. Our final four Pokemon on today's team going to feature Ogre Pond, Incineroar, Ursaluna, and Tornadus. I don't even need to talk about Ogre Pond or Incineroar, but Ursaluna is here for trick room purposes, and Tornadus is here for weather control, and on top of that, speed control. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match showcasing this Miraidon and Halucha team. So guys, we got ourselves a Miraidon mirror matchup here in match number one, Miraidon versus Miraidon. They also have Ursaluna just like us and Incineroar just like us. The only difference is going to be Whimscott, Frigraph, and Ditto. So they could pop Trick Room if they want to. It definitely looks like it could be an option. But for our lead here, um, who should we honestly rock into? We could go maybe Miraidon into Halucha, but then you get off and intimidate on the Halucha, which we don't like because I believe they're going to lead like Incineroar. I think they're going to lead a Pokemon like Incineroar. How fast is my Incineroar? That's a real question. It's kind of slow. I was hoping we could maybe like fake him out before they fake us out. But I mean, I think they're going to go for Trick Room here. So I'm going to have to just bring in Ursaluna, right? I'm just going to have to bring in Ursaluna. And should I lead Ursaluna? I could potentially just lead Ursaluna. That's not a bad option for us. Incineroar, Ursaluna. I kind of like it. You know what? I kind of like it. That's what I'm going to do. Incineroar, Ursaluna are going to come out here. I don't mind this too much. We're going to bring Miraidon in the back end. And last but not least, we might not even bring Halucha here. We might just be better off going into Ogre Pond. Just to deal with their Ursaluna and their Incineroar. Which I, I actually am comfortable with. So, that's going to be the play here. I think they go into Trick Room. I think that is their play. I definitely think that's their play. If they want to end up going into like Miraidon here, we can just fake it out and kind of just like Blood Moon it. Just do some big time damage to it. It really depends. It really depends. But I, I think this seems more of a Trick Room thing more than a like tailwind setup me ride on kind of thing so i wouldn't be surprised to see incineroar and Rigriff come out here for the lead but honestly whatever i say the opposite happens or just like the worst case scenario so let's see who they got it's gonna be me ride on incineroar okay so i get to intimidate hopefully our incineroar is faster because in that case we can get off and pick out and we're gonna find out right here right now so head rod engine gonna come out here and our intimidate comes out here first so we are faster that's good news that is good news so our Intimidate's going to fly out here. Um, I could just fake out their Incineroar if I want to. I could just fake out their Incineroar. Could go into a Parting Shot if I want to. I am just going to fake out their Incineroar. And honestly, we're just going to gonna go into an Earth Power here. Just look to rip up some damage into this Mirai right on. I could Terrasilize if I want to. Straight Fairy. Straight Fairy if I want to. But I like her typing here, so honestly, Earth Power's going to be a play. So we're going to go into a fake out into Incineroar just so he doesn't fake out my Ursaluna. You could go into like a Draco Meter in this slot. You could Terrastalize. I mean, what are you going to do here? That's the real question. That is the real question. What are you going to do here? What do you got cooking here? And he's sitting here all confused. They don't know what to do. They don't know what to do. We're faking out that Incineroar. They might just protect me right on. They're going to withdraw Incineroar. Okay, so smart play by them just to peel off Incineroar here. Should have faked out the Miraidon, and they're going to go into Ferrigoraph. So fake out's not allowed. I mean, that's that's a bit smarter, but we weren't faking out the Miraidon anyway. So this thing does have Electric Seeds. It is going to get a defense boost, and we are going to see a Terra pop out here from, from Miraidon. Is this Fairy or Electric? That's the real question. It's going to be straight Electric, so he's looking just to dump on my Incineroar here. He's looking to just rip into my Incineroar, which is no big deal. 
You wanna take out my Incineroar? Okay, that's fine. Take out my Incineroar. So Fake Out gets Armor Tail Block. We're actually going into Incineroar. They don't even know that. And actually, they Volt Switch Pivot. Ooh, that's actually smart. How much damage is this doing? A lot. A lot of damage. This Pokemon's so insanely strong in this terrain. It's a bit ridiculous. So they end up hard swapping. They get they get they swap both Pokemon. Now we know they have Incineroar. Are they gonna go back into Incineroar? Is the real question. I don't think so. I think we're gonna see all four of their Pokemon. In this case, we're just gonna bring out our Miraidon. Now's a good time to bring out Miraidon. Let's see, who are you gonna bring out here? Incineroar or your final Pokemon? Could be your Ursaluna. That's who I think your final Pokemon is. Let's see. No, they're gonna bring out Incineroar. So this Incineroar is gonna have to eat up our Earth Power here from our Ursaluna, which is good news. So Earth Power, we're gonna fly here. Super effective shot. We deal some nice damage. We're dealing some nice damage. So from here, do I go into Ogre Pond and force them to fake out Ogre Pond? Hmm, what's your Terra type? A lot of fairy Terra types here. A lot of fairy Terra types. I'm gonna go into Miraidon here. I think that's our play. So I'm gonna go into Miraidon. Um, I'm just gonna pose that threat of going into uh, Electro Drift. And he's gonna pretty much be forced to fake out my, my Miraidon. So from here, I'm going to go into Electro Drift into you, and on top of that, I'm going to go into Blood Moon into Frigraph. I'm going to kind of hope that they don't set up Trick Room. I feel like Ursaluna has to be their final Pokemon. We do have Ogre Pond, which is good, but smart plays from them off of turn one. Just a hard swap to Incineroar and then Volt Switch Pivot. And of course, the Volt Switch is KO my Incineroar with that Terra. Miraidon just does a ridiculous amount of damage, but I like where we're sitting here. I don't, I, don't, I don't mind where we're sitting. I think they still got the upper hand. That was just a solid first turn for them. But from here, we're just doubling down the free graph because I they're going to fake out one of my Pokemon. They're going to fake out one of them, and I wonder who they're going to fake out is the real question. I wonder who you're going to fake out. You're going to fake out Ursaluna. Let me go with the Ursaluna fake out. Maybe trying to read a... Read a Protect. But Electro Drift just is gonna KO, KO for a graph. And I feel like both of our moves we're gonna be able to KO for a graph. That's good, that's good news for us. That's great news for us. That is beautiful news for us. So we KO you, Ursaluna is gonna flinch. And we don't allow Trick Room to set up. So I think they're gonna throw back out Miraidon. This is such a good match. And yeah, they do end up throwing back out Miraidon. And from here, I mean, Fairy Terror is gonna be in our best interest, correct? Just go Fairy Terra and maybe Draco Meteor? Or do I just Dazzle and Gleam here? I'm going to Dazzle and Gleam because I, I, I'm i hoping that can KO that Incineroar. So I'm going to Dazzle and Gleam and I'm just going to double down with Earth Power here. You give me no option. I think that's what I got to do. That's what I got to do. They end up withdrawing Incineroar. They're going to go into their final Pokemon. It's got to be Ursaluna, right? It's got to be Ursaluna. Am I right? Am I right? I'm not right. Whimsicott. Whimsicott, that's kind of odd. So I think they might just protect this Miraidon, which would be smart. I'm gonna hope that they don't. And then set up a Tailwind next turn. Makes the most sense. Um, I'm gonna use my Terror here. Just so they don't go into like Draco Meteor and KO me here. And there's a Draco Meteor into Ursula Luna, who dies out. Tough news for us. Real tough news. They do take a special attack drop, which is good. They're probably going to swap Incineroar into it next turn. But that's a still gonna fly here. So we have a nice little fairy terror going here. Um, and oh my god, that would have been a massive KO if we took out Wimscott there. The Wimscott on the field, most likely gonna set up a tail when they're gonna hard swap into Incineroar. And this is where things get a little crazy, right? Because they're relying on their Miraidon to pick up a. They're relying on their Miraidon to pick up a what's it called? Or win the game. So if I had to guess, they're going to set up Tailwind here. They're going to swap into Incineroar. And then they're going to be able to fake out next turn. And kind of just get it after me. But I'm going to double protect and kind of keep that going. But if they do swap into Incineroar this turn. I think Dazzle Gleam just picks up the KOs. So I think they're going to set up a Tailwind. And then it's just going to be a 2v1 kind of situation. So from here, I'm just going to double down into this Miradon slot. With Ivy Cudgel. You are minus 2 on special attack. You have a swap, right? It almost feels like... like you lose the match if you don't swap, right? That's how it feels. That's how it feels. Unless your Draco Meteor can still KO my Ogre Pond. That'd be very surprising. But yeah, there's the swap. The swap comes out. They're going to bring back out Incineroar. They are going to intimidate me. Which I do not like. I do not like. Not one bit. Not one bit. Not one bit I don't like this. 
And he's gonna protect Whimsicott. Oh wow, a little bit of protect action. A little bit of protect action, so they're just gonna sacrifice certain Sinwar instead of setting up the Tailwind. Dazzle Gleam is going to pick up the KO here. But Dazzle Gleam does not, luckily we're doubling down. <laughs> and I'm able to KO with this Ivy Control. Alright, cool. Now it turns into a 2v2 where they're, they're pretty much forced to set up Tailwind, correct? They're pretty much forced to set up Tailwind. I'm minus one on attack with Overpine. I'm neutral with my Mirada. And they cannot hit me with Draco Meter, which is good. But now they can hit me with Electric. Oh man, I hate this game. I gotta see how many turns are left in this terrain. I gotta see how many turns are left in this terrain. If it's one, I might just double protect. And yeah, it is one. It is one. I might just double protect here. I might just double protect here. Honestly, you're probably going for Electro Drift in this slot. I might just KO you. I could go for Follow Me. I'm gonna double protect and then just go for Follow Me next turn. And then just Daz and Gleam. I'm gonna get rid of this Electric Train. It really just boosts them like crazy, so I'm just gonna double protect here. It really boosts them a bit too much. I'd rather just get rid of it. So I'm gonna spike a shield, I'm gonna protect here. I'm gonna get rid of this last turn of terrain. And yeah, I knew I kinda knew they were setting up tailwind. So they get off tailwind here. And I'm gonna look to just get after. They're going for discharge. Ooh, that's looking a little scary. That's looking that's looking real scary. Luckily I am taking out this uh this terrain here. And you're just gonna KO your Wimscott. That's fine. So bye bye Wimscott. But we don't have to worry about Wimscott anymore. Uh do we think they're just gonna discharge right? I think they're just gonna discharge. Making me not wanna go for follow me anymore, right? Makes the most sense. So from here, I'm just gonna drop a Draco Meteor. And I'm just gonna go for an Ivy Cudgel. No need to go for follow me. No need to go for follow me. Yep. Okay, cool. We don't waste a turn going for follow me. Discharge gonna fly here. Mirai on. can you soak this? You do! No paralyzes. Draco me Oh no! No, don't tell me I lose on that! Don't tell me I lose on a Miss Draco Meteor! I lose on a Miss Draco Meteor! I lose on a Miss Draco Meteor. Oh man. I should just went for Daz and Gleam. I lose on a Miss Draco Meteor. Ah, oh, dude, come on, man! All the Poke Gods know I'm recording. I lose on a Miss Draco Meteor. Oh, dude, that's tough. That's tough. We're just gonna... I don't even know. How many turns are left in Tailwind? Would I be better off just going for, like, a double protect here? Let's see. How many turns you got? Two. I think we're better off going for a double protect. Protect. We'll go for an Ivy Cudgel here. Oh, man. Yeah, we're better off going for a double protect to try to win this match. But we're gonna lose to RNG. Discharge gonna fly here. I don't think Discharge can miss. That's my problem with it. Yeah, I have to go for double protect just so we can outspeed it. Ah, oh, man. But the reason I went for Draco Meteor was in case I just... I just died. Like, my Ogre Pond just died out to that. So, oh, man, dude, that hurts. We're gonna go for double protect. We need to land double protect just so we get some speed. And we do! Hold up! Do we outspeed this Mirai? We get a little bit of RNG luck on our side. I go for double protect, we waste out the tailwind. This is my Mirai on faster than your Mirai. That's what it comes down to. That's what it comes down to here in match number one. Did I make something happen? Let's see your speed. Let's see your speed, buddy old pal. Let's see your speed. You're just definitely slower. You're definitely slower. Our speed's boosted due to nature, but we don't really have too many EVs investment into it. Please show me you're faster. This would be gorgeous. We're going for Dazzle Lee. Go ahead, outspeed him. Nope, we don't outspeed him. We don't have speed, so we land double protection for nothing. I hate this game, man. RNG doing me dirty match number one. We start things off 0 1. That's a hard loss right there, ladies and gentlemen. 0 1 to get things started. Me ride on. You gotta be better here. You gotta be better. You can't be missing Draco meters. It's just embarrassing. You're embarrassing me. But we're going up against a Shadow Rider Calyrex team here in match number two, alongside with Cresselia, Ursula Luna, not uh, Blood Moon Ursula but um. Regular Ursaluna. And then they got Titar, one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. Valerian Zapdos. And if I did not mention Rollaboom, they got Roll. Um, for our lead, I mean, they don't have any way of strain control. So I could just go Miraidon and Electric Seed Pokemon. 
Oh wait, they do have terrain control, which could be Roboom. But as long as I just get off this uh, electric seeds, my boy's gonna be flying out here with acrobatic. So I'm cool with going in with this lead right here. Uh, they could go crest. They could try to pop a trick room. That is definitely an option. But for our back end, I am going to bring Ursaluna just to kind of cover the trick room aspect of the game. And last but not least, we could go in with Ogre Pond. We could go in with Incineroar. And I am going to go Incineroar just to kind of deal with Shadow Rider Calyrex if we have to. Nice little knockoff could be good. All that good stuff. Plus, nice little fake out user. Never go wrong with it. You can never go wrong with it. So I feel like we cover a lot of different aspects here. We got the roll boom on check with this uh this acrobatics halucha. We got terrain control, we got fake out control, we got the tricker aspect of it with Ursa Luna. We're looking for a win here because we are 0 1. Surprisingly, we're 0 1 after playing a really solid match there with our squad. But it is what it is. It is what it is. That's Pokemon. That's Pokemon for you. But I like the trainer card right there. Quagsire. Doing a little snoozing. I could definitely go for a nice little nap right now. A little snooze fest. But they're gonna go T-Tar, they're gonna go Crest here. Um, I don't mind this. We could see a Terra type from uh from T-Tar pop out here. I mean I might just double down into Crest and not allow them to get off this uh this Terra. Or not Terra, uh Trick Room. And I might terrestrialize our Halucha here. Just because I don't want to die out to a rock, right? So from here, honestly, yeah, we're just gonna go into Electro Drift here. I'm gonna terrestrialize you and I'm just gonna go into acrobatics or close combat. We're just going to go into Acrobatics. I could go for Swords Dance, but again, I really just want to get rid of Crest. So, I'm going to double down to Crest right here. Plus, our T-Tar might even protect or even go into a Flying Terror. So, going into a Close Combat might not be our best option. So, if I could just dump on Crest, maybe cancel that Trick Room, we could be fine here. They're going to withdraw T-Tar. So, T-Tar getting a withdrawal here. Who are you going to go into? You got cooking here. You're going to go in the Real Boom. Okay, that's fine. That's fine, you do take out terrain, so this this move's not doing as much damage, but I can always throw an acrobatics next turn, which is pretty good news for us. I don't think we can KO the crest now. I'm hoping we can still KO the crest. I mean I am life. I am orbed. But Haluch is gonna do I don't know. Not even half damage to this thing. Maybe we should have set up sword stance. But he's gonna go for an ally switch. Okay, that means we just KO Robin, right? This actually might be good for us. Can we KO Robin with this? We don't. We don't, but we KO Roll Boom all around. That's fine by me. Electro Drift cooking. We're going to say bye-bye to Roll Boom. That's a tough ally switch. That's a weird ally switch. Why would you ally switch and swap? It kind of just doesn't make sense. But uh, we'll take it. We'll take it. That's a nice KO for us. We're in our Steel Terror type. They might go back into T-Tar here. I wish I had my terrain. I wish I had my terrain. So... We get back a little bit of HP here. They took over terrain. They're now going to go into Shadow Rider Calyrex, which I do outspeed. Well, at least my Halucha should, right? And honestly, now's a good turn just to swap Incineroar for, for Miraidon and then just go into a Detect here. Or do I just Acrobatics? Could just Protect. Could just Detect up this turn. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm just going to detect. If you want to pop trick room, you can pop trick room. But now it's just a simple turn for me to detect. Get my Incineroar out here. Have Fake Out. Have Knock Off ready to go. Calyrex just looking a little scary. So I'm going to stop the Miraidon. Right we got rid of the Roll Room already. Intimidate's not going to do anything. These guys are both special attackers. But I like this, our defensive typing here. I like our typing here. So we'll see a Terror type pop out here from Miraidon. Or not Miraidon. Uh, Shadow Rider Calyrex. And they're going to go straight Fairy Terror. Okay, not bad. I mean, we're protecting, so. It should be a fine turn. I, I would think you go for an Astro Barrage, maybe an Ally Switch again. Makes the most sense. And you're gonna go for a Draining Kiss. Wow, you go for Draining Kiss in this slot. This could hurt, actually. Does some decent damage, but not half, which is good news. And honestly, I can just fake him out this turn. I can just fake him out this turn. I can just fake out Shadow Rider Calyrex and attack it. I can just fake out Shadow Rider. So no Trick Room pops out here. We're going to fake out Shadow Rider here. And honestly, I'm just going to double down into it. Honestly, I might set up a Sword Dance here. Honestly, yeah, dude. That's my best bet. Let's fake out. Let's set up a Sword Dance. Let's set up a Sword Dance. Because Crest isn't going to do too much. We should outspeed the Shadow Rider Calyx with our Unburdened Halucha here. Um, Sword Dance is going to put us plus two, which is 
gorgeous. That's lovely for us. And I believe Fake Out comes out before Alex Switch, correct? I believe it does. It should. It should. I'm going to be very upset if it doesn't and they end up going for Alex Switch. That could be tough news for us. But, Gene should be fine. What you got? Just give me this Swords Dance. That's all I want is a nice little Swords Dance. I'm kind of hoping they just protect Shadow Rider Calyx this turn. Would be in our best interest. But I don't think they're going to set up a trick room with Calyx on the field. I really don't. I don't. I just don't see that happening. The Fake Out's going to fly here. Flinch do a little bit of damage to you. And Swords Dance is going to come across here. If we get off the Swords Dance, you going for another Lunar Blessing? Potentially, maybe. Or are you going for Trick Room? No, you should go for a Psychic. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. That's nothing. There's no damage. Everybody's going to get buffed it besides my Halucha. And I'm pretty sure we outspeed. I'm pretty sure we outspeed. Do I read now? I switch here. I could read now. I switch here. Could definitely read now. I switch. Let's see what the turns look like here. Um, I could read now. I switch. I can read now. I switch. I'm gonna go for parting shot. I'm gonna get out of here. I'm. I'm actually just not gonna read now. I switch. He's a withdraw on the horse. So the horse gets the withdraw. They're gonna throw out their final Pokemon. They should have just went for a knockoff in the crest, but I'm parting shotting out of here. They're gonna go into T-Tar here. Back of backs, how much damage is gonna do? It actually does a nice chunk of damage. And they're just gonna go for a lunar bust, and that's fine. I mean, I got plenty of speed here. Plus some hard swap in my Incineroar, which is not bad. Lunar busting's fine. You don't have Terra anymore, so I could just drop a close combat into T-Tar next turn. Party shot gonna fly. I'm out of here. I'm dipping, I'm going. I'm going. Actually, now's a perfect turn to bring back out me ride on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, let's bring back out me ride on. Love it. Love a little Miraidon action. So I'm gonna bring out Miraidon. Uh I'm Sword Sands boosted with my with my Halucha. And from here, we're just gonna go for Electro Drift and Close Combat. Yeah, it's definitely our easiest play. So Electro Drift gonna fire. I could actually like go into a dash beam here. But I'm just gonna go Electro Drift. I'm gonna go into Close Combat just to finish you off. And that's cool with me. So close combat gonna fly. Bop. See you later. Get on out my face. And how much damage is this Electro Drift gonna do? Because my defense is dropped. And we're really hoping Halucha does outspeed this uh Calyrex. The Electro Drift gonna fly. I don't think it's gonna KO, but it should do a nice chunk of damage. It does not KO. But again, a nice chunk of damage. <laughs> okay. So now we're sitting here hoping that our Halucha just outspeeds and they go to a trick room. And this could be good because honestly. The Calyrex might be faster than my, than my what's it called, than my Miraidon, in all honesty. And if I can hit this thing with a, uh, with a what's it called, honestly, should I just take out the Crest? No, we can't take out the Crest. I mean, I have what's it called in the back in Ursaluna. That was a trick room check. Honestly, we're just going to go into Electro Drift here, and I'm just going to detect here. I'm just going to detect my Halucha, and they just cancel battle. So what was the point of that? What was the point of that? Weird one there, but we grabbed the upper hand. We're one and one. That last match was definitely weird, but we have that one in the bag. We had Ursuline in the back end for that exact purpose in case they went to pop a trick room, and we had every situation covered. So we're sitting one and one. We're hopping into our third and final, going up against an Ice Rider Calyrex team with only one trick room setter, which is going to be Ice Rider Calyrex. We're definitely going to bring an Ursuline in the back end just to kind of check that Ice or that trick room kind of feature for that team. But on top of that, they got Incineroar, who they can most likely definitely beat, which could be scary. Could be scary, but I kind of want to go into like Miraidon and Halucha, or I can bring Halucha in the back end considering they have no terrain control. So I could just go into like speed users, such as. Or I could go Incineroar of my own. You know what? Yeah, let's go Incineroar. Let's go Miraidon. I'm cool with that. I actually really like that lead. And then we'll bring Halucha in the back end with Ursaluna. I like it. I like it. We're sitting one and one, looking to go two and one. Should be 2-0, oh, let's be honest here. That RNG Draco Meteor miss, still getting to me. I'm still annoyed about it, but hey, what are you going to do about it? We're still having some good battles, some good recording sessions for you guys. So hopefully you guys are enjoying the content. But um, I am planning on releasing a brand new video. I know I said this a while back, but I ended up getting screwed over by a video editor. I paid money, they didn't do any work for me, and they just like bailed on me, so... 
kind of pushed me back a little bit of time but i'm looking for a video editor to edit my brand new pokemon video if you are a good video editor i'm willing to pay some good money um you have to know pokemon knowledge obviously and if you're watching this video you probably have some pokemon knowledge so if you know a good video editor or if you are a good video editor make sure you hit me up either over on twitter or email me my business email is in my uh youtube about page so hit me up over there I'd really appreciate it. But if not, I'm definitely going to find somebody and have a brand new, awesome kind of inf informational video out very soon. So I'm super excited for that. But um, they go Raging Bolt. They go Calyrex here. I mean, Intimidate was a clear amulet. We can actually find out right now. It was clear amulet. And from here, we can just fake out the Calyrex if we want to. We could just fake out the Calyrex. Um, hmm. Yeah, we're going to have to fake out the Calyrex. So I'm going to fake out Calyrex. And honestly, I might just tear here and go into a Dazzling Gleam. Just to do some damage across the board. I'm cool with this. I'm cool with this. So we'll Terra. We'll go into Fairy. We don't feel like taking a Dragon move from this Raging Bolt. So I'm just going to go into a Fairy Terra and drop this Dazzling Gleam. Especially if they want to protect this Calyrex, which is definitely an option. And they do. That's fine. That is fine. I can double down to Calyrex next turn if I want to with like Flare Blitz. But Fake Out, going to get blocked. Fine by me, Dazzling Gleam still should be able to do a nice chunk of damage over on the Raging Bull. And we're really hoping he's going for Draco Meteor into my Miraidon. Because that'd be a big time dodge for us. That'd be a big time dodge. So Dazzling Gleam gonna fly here. Nice damage doing over half the Raging Bolt. I lose a little bit of HP doing Life Orb. And they go for 8. Ooh. We don't like a Snarl. We do not like a Snarl. It does get a crit on my Miraidon. How dare you? How dare you? But our best interest might just be to go into will o -Wisp here instead of going for a knockoff. I'm going to burn you. I am going to go for a burn there, and I'm just going to rip a Dazzle Gleam again. So I'm just going to look to burn the Shadow Rider Calyrex. He's going to withdraw the Raging Bolt. Maybe I should have withdrawn my Ride on there, but I don't mind this turn. They go into a Moongus. So Moongus flies out here. I think they're looking to set up Trick Room and just kind of spore me up. But if, again, if I can land this will o -Wisp, that's massive for us. It's really big for us. The good thing I went in the will o -Wisp rather than knockoff. Big time for us. So they end up going into Grass Terra. Which I kind of wish we had Flare Blitz, but again, can I land this Will O Wisp? I'm really hoping. If I don't land this Will O Wisp, I'm gonna be so upset. So that'd be another this be another battle that RNG just screws me over with. Come on, Will O Wisp. I need you here. What are you doing, Will O Wisp? Yo, come on, man. I needed that. I needed that. They end up going for Glacial Lands rather than Trick Room, which is good. But still, that turn was massive for us. That Will O Wisp was huge for us. It really was. That will o -Wisp was massive because now they can just Rage Powder out. Now they can just Rage Powder out and I'm sitting in a terrible position. A god-awful position. I'm going to go for will o -Wisp again, but I believe you Rage Powder, right? I believe you Rage Powder. Oh my lord. I don't like this game, man. Dude, RNG, that's two big time moves. That's twice today. There's the Rage Powder. Man, yo. Come on, man. Why, why God do me dirty? All I need to do is land that will o -Wisp. We land that will o -Wisp there onto that Calyrex. Our team's thriving. Our team's thriving after that. We end up burning the Moongus. They're going to go for another Glacial Lance. I know you go for a high horsepower, which sucks. It KOs me. And again, now I'm just sitting in a terrible position. One of the worst positions I've ever been in. One of the worst positions I've ever been in. I'm trying to think of ways we could potentially win this game, and it's not looking good. It's looking... It's looking really hard for us. I mean, I gotta go into you. I gotta go into you just so I can acrobatics to pick up a KO onto somebody. I'm not gonna get these seeds going, but still, it's I'm super effective. I might have this hard swapper boy. I might have to hard swap and sacrifice Ursaluna. Some two people, two Pokemon are dying here. We're gonna go into that. I mean, you could go into the. What's it called? But, uh, huh. I'm gonna have to keep me right on. We're, we're just gonna have to sacrifice you, right? Yeah, I mean, I don't have Terra. I'm gonna need me right on. That's our only way of winning. We have to sacrifice, but both these guys are dead. Because they're just gonna go for Rage Powder. They're gonna go for Glacial Lance. That's a double KO onto Ursa Luna and. And what's it called? And Halucha. But if you were burned, we win this match all day. We know we, we yeah we probably win this match all day. Any survive that, but Burns gonna actually KO you. Um, can he maybe miss or something? I don't know. Probably not. Yeah, Glacial Lance doesn't miss. And that's double KO. You're plus one already. 
I don't know what you want me doing, guys. I really don't. I'm missing burns out here. I'm missing burns out here. The thing is, if I don't miss that, if I don't miss that burn, this thing's physical attack is dropped in half. It's not KO my Incineroar. My Miraidon's not taking that much damage. It should probably be up in the green. It wouldn't have KO'd my Ursula. It wouldn't ever since it wouldn't ever KO'd my Incineroar, it wouldn't have got a plus one boost. But man, dude. I hate losing matches like this. I really do. Because I feel like we make the right play and then it's just like, oh, like they avoid an attack. Then they write back in this. But now they go Rage your Bolt, they can sit there, they can snarl me up. Um And this is not good because I mean I have to jerk a meteor for the KO here. <laughs> I have to. <laughs> yeah, this one's over. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. Unless they make like a stupid play, maybe protect the Raging Bolt. Maybe. But I mean, at this point, at this point, our special attack is dropped. It would be dropped. Yeah, this one's over. this one's so over. This one is more than over. More than over. Maybe I should just went to a Dazzle Gleam. Dazzle Gleam probably would have been in her best interest and maybe try to go for a crit here onto the Calyrex. But Calyrex is just protecting. Why you gotta read a shot like that? Why can't you just attack me? There's Thunderclap. Those KO me regardless. But hey, GG's to our opponent there. We got one and two for today's video. Not too bad, not too good. Hopefully you guys still enjoyed the video. All right, we'll take that one on the chin, going one and two for today's video. Definitely should have had a winning record, probably went two and one, maybe even three and oh. It is what it is. Hopefully you guys still enjoyed the battles in today's video. Had yourselves a good time, maybe laughed a little bit. Who knows, who knows? But again, we ride on Halucha. Love this combo so much, paired up with these Pokemon, Ogre Pond, Incineroar, Tornadus, Ursaluna. I feel like this team can kind of counter everything or have a shot up against every type of team in Regulation G. But guys, that is gonna be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.